Hi guys, in the previous video I've tried to install Windows 11 on an old PC, so I thought it will be nice to film a video about installing Windows 98, but on a modern PC. So let's find out is it possible to install Windows 98 on a modern hardware in 2022. Let's go. What do we have? We have an Intel i9-9900K CPU, Nvidia GTX 1080, 32GB of RAM, DDR4, MSI Z390 motherboard and 144Hz LG monitor. I have decided to go the easy way and try to install Windows 98 from a CD using a DVD drive which is connected via SATA. And it failed. Why? Because MS-DOS doesn't have any drivers for this DVD drive, so it's impossible to start installation from it. To solve the problem, we need to find specific CD drive or DVD drive which are compatible with MS-DOS drivers. But I don't have time for this. Luckily, there is another easier way. We can start Windows 98 installation directly from a USB drive. But how? You can start Windows 98 installation from any storage device if there is a mass dust on it. We can burn a Windows 98 ISO image to a USB stick using Ultra ISO, or you can use Fridas, which can be written via Rufus. But you will need to unzip Windows 98 image and copy a Windows 98 folder to a USB stick. All right. Let's try to boot. I am pressing F11 to access boot menu on MSI motherboard, selecting a USB stick and it's working. So easy. I select start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. Whoa, what a giant Windows 98 logo. It's so unusual to see it on a new monitor. It looks very beautiful. I hope we are not gonna stuck in here. <sighs> it's okay, we are lucky. A setup is not started by itself because we don't have any CD drive in here. To start installation in manual mode, you need to type this. Change directory Win98, setup, and the error appears. There is not enough free memory to check a drive. No problem, we can skip the scan disk using Windows 88 setup switches. I am. Ignore the conventional memory check. Also, NM bypass running the minimal system hardware requirement test and IS does not run scan disk. And another error appears. Not enough free extended XMS memory to run setup. Setup needs approximately 2.8 MB of free memory. Looks like 32 GB of RAM is not enough to run Windows 98 setup. So this is the end? Of course not. The reason why this message appears is the extended memory driver called HiMem.sys. The human eye can only see 8 GB of RAM. Looks like Windows 98 has a problem too. When Windows 98 was created, no one thought that someday computers will have a large amount of RAM, especially 32 GB, as in my case. What can we do? It turns out there is a special modern memory driver for Windows 98 and it's called XMGR. Thanks to this, we can start Windows 98 installation with a large amount of RAM. Let's try! To integrate the driver, you need to copy it to USB stick to the main directory. Then, using Total Commander, find and open a file called config.sys and add device xmgr.sys to the top. Save the changes and try to start installation again. And it works! Nice! Windows 98 setup begins. Funny, but somehow my keyboard, which is connected via USB 3.1, works well. But that cannot be said about my mouse. It behaves unpredictably. She even pushes buttons on her own. Also, you may notice some artifacts. Don't worry, my GPU is fine. The basic video driver calls this. I'm even surprised that we have at least some image. Next, next, next. Welcome to Microsoft Windows 38. Please sit back and relax while Windows 38 installs on your modern PC. Oh, have you ever seen this message? It appears because old ACPI version, which performs power management, is not compatible with the newer version that's installed on our motherboard. Windows 38 just doesn't know how to reboot or turn off your PC. Also, you may have seen this message on very old computers. OK, reboot. And another memory error appears. Insufficient memory to initialize Windows. Seems. 32 GB of memory is not enough to start Windows 88 installation. Let's try to upgrade RAM to 64 GB and see what happens. 
I am just kidding. The reason why this message appears is that we have too much RAM. Windows 98 becomes unstable when you use even more than one gigabyte of RAM. Many of people advise to change max file cache and max fees page in sys.ini file. I did it, but nothing changed. It turns out there is a special patch called patch mem that allows you to use Windows 98 with 4 GB of RAM. The creator of this patch is Rudolf R. Lowe. He is a creator of many patches and drivers that allows you to use Windows 9X on a modern hardware. Unfortunately, he passed away 3 years ago. Let's try to use this patch. All you need is to boot into DOS and run patchmem.x. Now we have no errors but we are stuck at Windows 98 logo. I've been waiting for 4 hours hoping the system would start. Unfortunately, this didn't happen. Then I tried to leave only 8 GB of RAM and it fell too. For some reason, I am convinced that the main problem is high RAM. What if this patch doesn't work? I decided to check it using another PC, which has Intel i7 3770K in 4 GB of RAM. Let's try to boot. It's working somehow, but only in saved mode. As you can see, we have the same video artifacts. Let's open my computer properties and it didn't recognize the CPU. Okay, is it possible to run any old game here? Let's try Commander Keen. It's working well. You can hear the old speaker, nice. So the patch is working. The system starts with no issues using 4 GB of RAM. I think the best way to increase chances to run Windows 88 on a new PC is to install the minimum amount of RAM as we can. 2 GB for example. Firstly, I don't have any DDR4 RAM stick with less than 16 GB. Secondly, the smallest DDR4 RAM stick that I could find is 4 GB. Luckily, there is DDR4 RAM stick with 2 GB. It's so deep DDR4 for laptops. They have different connectors, so how we can connect it to a new motherboard? Yes, we can use an adapter. This one, for example. Link will be in the description. I know it's kind of stupid, but for some reason I'm still convinced that the main problem is high RAM. I will have to wait 30 days for delivery. And of course I need to find somewhere 2 GB DDR4, so dim RAM stick. Okay, the package has arrived. And I found a RAM stick with 2 GB of memory. Let's install it. This is what it looks like. It looks like a mutant PC. Now I will try to boot into Windows 10. This message appears. Seems I was using the wrong slot. And here is 2 GB of RAM. By the way, Windows 10 is working well with it. Ok, let's try to run Windows 98 on a modern PC. And this message appears. While initialization device we cache. Windows protection error. You need to restart your PC. I've tried to disable all options in BIOS using an old GPU, but nothing changed. Also, I've tried to boot in safe mode with disabled options, and that's what happened. My neighbors thought the alarms went off, but I don't have one. So much time wasted, so much pain, and it didn't work. Alright, it was not RAM. Looks like the problem lies in the Z390 chipset. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I continued on and have found another PC with Intel i5-9400F on a B365 chipset. And I did. Pretty much the exact same actions, but nothing changed. The same because error appears. Ok, we have failed to run Windows 98 on an Intel PC. But what happens if you try to run Windows 98 on a modern AMD hardware? Let's find out. One of my friends has a modern AMD PC, so I went to him to try to run Windows 98. 
Here are its specs. CPU AMD Ryzen 5 2400G with Radeon Vega graphics. 4 cores, 8 threads. 2 DDR4 stick of RAM with 8GB total. And motherboard AS Rock A320M. And that's what happened. Another error? Are you kidding me? That's all? This is the end? Of course not. If you have watched one of my videos about installing Windows 38 on SSD, you may notice that I was skipped this error by booting Windows 38 in safe mode. So I'm selecting safe mode by pressing F8 and Oh my god, it loaded successfully. We did it. Unbelievable. Pay no attention to a different language. I've spent a lot of time trying to run Windows 98 and I had to use different versions of the system to succeed. Let's open my computer properties. And here is AMD 5, 2400G and 1.5 GB of RAM. It's very strange because the patch map is already installed here and we have only one 4 GB RAM stick connected to the motherboard. Let's open device manager. As you can see, it shows three GPUs, but the only one installed on the motherboard and its integrated graphics. Also, you can notice different artifacts, but not these that were on NVIDIA GPU before. It happens because Windows 88 doesn't have any drivers for modern GPUs. To prove that I run Windows 88 on a modern CPU, I downloaded the program called CPU-Z and here is our CPU AMD Ryzen 2400G. Strange, but it shows only one core and one thread. And now you will see the scariest part. If you will try to turn off Windows 98, this will happen. In theory, this picture must appear now, but because of missing drivers, we can see only the artifacts. So, to sum up, we can say that it's impossible to install Windows 98 on a modern Intel PC, but it can be done on a modern AMD computers. It's incredible, isn't it? If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will try to install MS-DOS on a new modern PC. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.